everybody, welcome back to my channel. I guess you've always wondered what it's like to see how Tim gets on with his filming, right? So today we are heading to a boat and it's like a night away, basically on the broads. It's not my cup of tea, if I'm being completely honest with you, it's not the sort of thing I wanna do, but I'm doing this surely for love. Because <laughs> Tim said that it'll be great because people will love to know what it's like on a boat and um, like staying overnight and stuff. So, you know, I'm, I'm doing it. I'm just gritting my teeth and I'm just getting on with it and I'm just going to accept it for what it is and see, you know, you never know. I might, I might even enjoy it. I might surprise myself, but you should always try everything once. But anyway. Don't be scared to try new things. Yeah, definitely. Although I have been on a boat before. I was a lot younger though, um, and I went to France on it. That was okay. Um, that was with my went dad. To France on a boat. Well, I didn't go to France on a boat. So basically, my uncle used to have like a fleet of boats um, because he used to have like day boats, and he basically had a task where we we drove to. Um, Grey, I think it was, somewhere like that. And we had to pick some boats up and we had to um, take them downstream and it was like a three day um, holiday, sort of working holiday kind of thing. And um, I was on one boat with my dad, so my dad was transporting one of them. And obviously they like holiday boats. Um, I don't know why my uncle had to do that. I don't know. Um, so anyway, yeah, I went on holiday then and it was nice it was nice but i can't say like once i'd done it i can't say i was like in a massive hurry to do it again like I, it didn't thrill me it was nice but it didn't thrill me so i don't know obviously it's been many moons i think i must have been about what 13 then maybe something like that so it'll be in it'll be interesting to see how i feel about it now but i haven't really been in a hurry to go back to it but anyway the whole point of this vlog is that i'm going to show you what it's like from tim's angle to film and the pressure that he's under because i get a lot of people that um send messages and they think that like when we do all this filming that we're we're having an absolute ball and we're like having a holiday and you know it's just sheer luxury but actually what people don't realize is the amount of hard work that goes behind creating a vlog so whilst we're on this boat or you know having this evening away should i say i've decided that i'm going to be filming tim filming so that you know doing that well you do now so that you guys can see exactly what it's like. Okay, so the main story is, is basically that um, you can book these boats for like, we well, have to book them for like three days, but um, we've got a family trip coming up and I've had to um, rush, squeeze in some videos and the problem is, is that time is not on my side because I'm going to Egypt on Monday and today is Saturday. So I need to basically only have one night on the boat, which is a bit gutted because uh, I was supposed to get it yesterday. But um, again, I screwed up with my videos and timing and editing and stuff like that. So it's really delayed me. So yeah, that's... Um, the reason why I was spending one night on a boat. And yeah. it's all gonna be really rushed because I don't really know how we're gonna um, do it all. McDonald's finishes at 10.30, didn't it? I told you that we shouldn't get breakfast from McDonald's. 11, it's 11, isn't it? So anyway, 24 hours on a boat, it should give us enough time to give you guys a little bit of insight as to what it will feel like to have a holiday on the boat or a weekend so to speak so anyway as per normal our first port of call is definitely a cup of coffee and we want a mcdonald's breakfast but we think we might be cutting it fine fingers crossed well, how long are you? 
Yeah, can I get a breakfast wrap, please, with uh, with brown sauce and a cappuccino? Yeah, anything else? No sprinkles on the cappuccino, please. Uh, what would you like, Danny? I'll have the same, but a white coffee, please. Uh, yeah, can I get an another one of those, please, but with a white coffee? Oh, I didn't manage to get my QR code up in time. McDonald's have got this, um, like a point system now, a bit like an Advantage card or a Tesco Club card kind of thing. And every time you go to McDonald's, you're meant to scan like the QR code and it builds points and then um, points, yeah, they, yeah, they build prizes, if you know what I mean. And because I was filming on my phone, I didn't really have time to get my QR code out and I've just missed it. And I'm really, really gutted about that. I'm like, ah, so annoying. You need to plan ahead. And I knew I was coming here, but I just didn't think. So that's why it's always important to plan ahead and use your brain. Something I never do, really. So where are we um, picking this boat up from, Tim? Brundle. Brundle. Well, whereabouts is Brundle? You don't know. No, but the viewers don't, do no. they? <laughs> Sorry, it's not, it's not far from Great Yarmouth, basically. Between Great Yarmouth and Norwich, but this side of Great Yarmouth rather than Norwich side. Do you know what? I've never actually been into Brundle. No, well, I've been on a boat through here, but never been here. They've got a co-op. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> I've only ever gone past Brundle and stopped at Brundle on the train when I've got the train from Great Yarmouth to Norwich and it's always gone Brundle and then it goes Brundle Gardens, but I've never seen it. So this is all very new to me as well. I don't think you miss it much. Well, they've got a co-op and they've got a pub, so that's a good start. Oh, and they've got a coffee shop. That's something handy. Yeah, they've got a Chinese, look. Two co-ops, what the hell? Oh my God, they're spoiled. Why they've do got... two co-ops? This is because of all the broads, probably people getting their essentials. I bet that's why. What we should have done is gone in there and got him some rusks, but because we're so rushed, we're not going to have the time. Can we like, oh, obviously I'm, I'm probably in the dark with this boat like you are, but I take it you can just, do we have to, when they give us the briefing of, you know, everything before you get on the boat, do we have to go straight away or can we leave the boat there for a little bit and have like come back to a shop or have we got to just head off? and then dock we'll somewhere find, and find them. I guess we'll find that information out. I don't see why you would have to go, go, no, go, 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 you got to go now. Yeah, because oh, that- just missed the turn in. Uh, I need to turn around. Yeah, because I was going to say, that does put a lot of pressure on your brake, doesn't it, really? If you, you know, you well, can't- I don't see why. I mean, they did say that I wasn't allowed to keep my car keys, that they're in a secure box. And I was like, well, what, if we need to come back in an emergency? Blimey. They were now, okay, well, yeah, thanks, thanks. Yeah, I wouldn't want them to have my car keys. No, I know. It doesn't look like it's down here, but this is the... This is the post code. I think there is something at the bottom. Well, there's no, there was no sign. You thought there'd have been a sign. I remember, what, you know, sat navs and postcodes, they're never very good. What will they? they do if we're late? Well, they tell us like... Well, it's a busy check-in day, you see. We, just, we should have checked in yesterday and most people are checking in today at 11 o'clock. So, so they've actually bent over backwards for us. Yeah, we have, we're on the other side of the train tracks because oh, it's God. over there. This is why you need to allow plenty of time. So it's over there. How'd you get on the other... There must be a bridge, so maybe you need to go back like Where, look, where's the, the way you came and then go over a bridge blooming postcodes rubbish aren't they well they'll take you to the area but not necessarily where you want to be time you're late there's things that will make you more late yeah so we just went wrong and then the train's coming it's called sod's law tim It is true though, you know when you're fighting the clock, everything gets in your way, doesn't it? Yeah. And when you're not, you've got time to kill, you get there super early.
actually managed to get Gabby's Doll's House on Netflix on the boat. Can't believe that. I mean, it's literally just like being at home on a boat. <laughs> like we've got everything. We've got a kettle. We've got Gabby's Doll's House. We've got a sexy man driving. And we're both in stripes because we're on the boats. Yes. We're like well coordinated today with our stripes, me and Bunties. We've got the same jumper. So at the moment, we've been sailing for about say we are sailing. Yeah, we've been sailing for about an hour. But we need a shop. We have got a mall where we can buy some shops. So we have this little map here. But we also have a map in here which will tell us where all the shops are. This is on the centre page. So this will tell you like where all the shops are and stuff. So like towns and villages. So we're looking for like uh, something in the pale pink. Where are we anyway, Tim? We're around here, I think. Canley. Oh, right, we're up here. We need to go to Reedham, really. Yeah, we're going to stop at Reedham because it looks like there's a bit of action going on in Reedham. Look at that. There's lots of symbols. No speeding because there's Broad's authority to him. Look at that. making sure your lens is clean. I never do that with my phone. I never bother, which is really bad. I know, and you can tell. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so sorry, people. <laughs> so I just uh, had to get the boat moored. Look, wisdom, the boats, the, the, the wind is pushing the boat that way, which means it's not as close as it can be. So I need to make them a little bit tighter so it's safe for you and Bumpies to get off. So hang on. See, that's the thing, when we come with him, he's not just doing his bit, he's also playing daddy too. Quite impressed with him actually, because when they was going through the demo and everything. Oh, are you joking? Are you joking? No. Bye Tim. No, you're probably right there. I probably would have just drifted out into the North Sea somewhere. Oh. <laughs> what you need is an assistant. I think you should I hire. Can't, I can't. You can't help me. Oh my God, the phone is drifting. Darling, you're going to have to turn it back on. You don't know what you're doing, do you? Nah. Oh. Don't swear. Darling, you're going to have to turn the engine back on and put the thrust on because it's about to go in. Oh going. my goodness. Yeah, but I couldn't film it and drive the boat at the same time. That's a shame. You just I missed everything that I was trying to do. I needed to um, use my skill to drive the boats. <sighs> <laughs> Basically, the wind is blowing the boat that way. So I moored the back in, but I didn't do it tight enough. And so the boat's end was swinging around. <sighs> All right, so what's the next step? Now we're, now we're in, we're the moored. In, the intro. We're gonna do the intro, right. Are you all right, Pumpies? Would you like your abacus? Wow. Oh my god, it's so windy. I stupidly have not used this camera before. It's so strange though, isn't it? Because it's been such a lush day until we now go to do the filming, so it's typical. Yeah, it's the amount of time it took for the boat to go in and now it's gone cloudy. Yeah, I know. And obviously the shot looks so much better with a bit of sunshine, doesn't it? And now we've got clouds, so it's just great. Yeah, it does. 
So look where Tim is like literally propping up his stand to just try and get the right angle. It's like, so say for example, like, I don't know, you worked building houses or something like that, and you imagine having to have your family in tow. It must be a nightmare. Are you okay, Bumpies? Is it a bit blustery? Is it a bit blustery, Bubbuds? Look at your hair. It's like, what was it you call him? Mop top hair shop. Mop top hair shop. Tiny little wine glasses. They look like whiskey glasses. There's more glasses there. Here are the cups. Premier Inn cups, I've noticed. Nice. I, I think they're also weather spoons cups. <laughs> weather spoons cups. Yeah. You're filming me. I'm Gabby's filming actually, you. You're filming me. Gabby's filming a little behind the scenes for her videos for how I film videos. Look. But love the more openness from the windows. It's quite nice. Have you checked the bed bugs yet? No. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so let's check out the bedroom. Ooh. So let's check out the bedroom. Now, obviously, the bedroom is pretty small right at the front of the boat, but it does have a little vanity mirror with a hair dryer <laughs> they don't really do much but they're kind of cute some um, <clears throat> if we want ventilation we can open these they've also given us some covers so we can actually block out the light if we need to there's some extra pillows in here some wardrobe some hangers too <clears throat> So I'm using a new camera and I'm unfamiliar with the settings on it. So I hope it's... Uh... Do you not have to do a bit of research beforehand or you just Well, I did it? do, but then because I've been so rushed, I'm uh, a little bit... Yeah, you've had to cram a lot in, haven't you? Wow, 
looks like the old days, but look at another mob. You like it for that? <laughs> no. It's got a spark on its way. I bet that didn't sound as good as the first time. Oh yeah, because this is your second take on that scene, isn't it? It's always the blooming way. Have you seen that series below deck? I feel like a yachty. <laughs> By the time I've finished on this 24 hours away, he's waiting to us. Yeah, come on baby, you need to go there. I'm gonna be like a proper professional I'm yachter. Although these are yachts or something. Where am I going? In the front of the boat, to throw in the rope. So Tim is trying to go backwards and forwards. Can you see his camera there on the wall? Because he wants to get a shot of the boat coming in and the camera's outside. And this is what we're going through <laughs> to get the shot. Oh my God. The camera is there. You're not going to get stuck in the flower bed, are you? Or the reed bed, or whatever you call it. Cameraman. It would have been great actually if you'd have been sat there, but I knew it was going to be too difficult. Plus, I needed to get a shot from the boat of coming into the pub. Okay, well, where do I come into this? So in theory, I need to move it again. But anyway, I'm not going to keep the boat here because I don't know if you can tell the wind, it keeps moving the boat off. So, where are you putting it? I think it'd be safe, slightly safer over there. So, you're moving it again? Yeah. Oh, okay. Sun's coming out. I know, let me just check the footage. Oh my god, can you imagine if I wasn't recording? It's so embarrassing. And we have to go through it all again. So we've decided to move it. Oh, I don't know, yeah. You need to go where there's like some of those like um, posts, don't you? So look post, around. The, the in front of the pub though is just too windy. I can't go up God, look at that sunset. It's lush. So, 
this is the uh, I've always wanted to do this on a I've always wanted to be on the broads at sunset and the glass of wine. Is it everything you imagined it would be? Yeah, it's like being back on the sunboard in Gibraltar. <laughs> but without the without the top quality weather, but I tell you what, I never thought I'd be on the broads thinking that I'm actually on the open sea because it is really moving a lot and I think you'll definitely have that feeling of them um, in bed tonight because we're we're right in the we're right in the bow so yeah that'd be interesting. <laughs> Were you feeling a bit left out? Were you? So what are we going to eat tonight? I don't know, we'll have to see what's on the menu. There is, it is limited with eating, obviously, because we've got that pub. Oh. I need you to sit back down here, darling. <coughs> so, <laughs> so we did find a shop, um, but it was just further back there. What we've actually done is we've actually gone from Brundle and we went up towards Great Yarmouth through Braden Water and then out the other side to, where is this? Stokesby. Stokesby. Um, if you're familiar with the Norfolk Broads, you'll know where we are. It's not too far from Akel, or as some people like to call it, Ackle. <laughs> There's um, no mainshore power here, so we're just gonna have to use the battery. We've got enough water in the tank. Um, so yeah, it should be good. Cheers. Here's to dinner. To dinner. And hopefully a um, a nice sleep in the, the bed. Is it, what does they say? If the bed's rocking, don't come knocking. I've never heard that the saying, boat is but gonna I'll be, go with it. You haven't heard that saying? No, it sounds naughty, Tim. Well, the boat is going to be rocking. So, ah! yeah. If the boat drifts off, though, out into the broads, please do come knocking. Although they won't be able to. <laughs> and then how much is it to walk off? Overnight mooring after 5pm, eight, eight pounds. It's eight pounds. They do do free mooring in some parts of the broads. However, you can't use the boat at night because there's no lights. There's no lights on the broads, it's pitch darkness. So after sunset, it's not just not advised. It's, well, they don't, I don't see any rules or regulations say do not, but then why would you? Because it'd be stupid because it'd be, yeah, it's typical. Hopefully tomorrow will be sunnier. Sorry, because you set up that shot there and I was like, that actually looks like a good shot. Sun has gone down, so we're just having a bottle of wine and uh, there's a pub that's just here, literally just a stone throw away. So we're gonna go for a pub meal there. Tim's actually rang up and booked us in and obviously then we're gonna come back and get settled down and get into bed and I'm just gonna show you the bed actually because I haven't actually showed you yet. Um, Bear with me, it's getting a little bit dark in here now, now the sun's gone down. That's what happens when the sun goes down. Hang on. Okay. Right, I'm just gonna show you the bedroom. Are you coming? Are you coming? On mommy's hand then. Whoop, that's it. Oh. Good boy. Did you do that when we were watching? <laughs> so here it is. This is it. This is the bedroom. You will probably see on um Casper's just going up the stairs. I'm just watching him. Very good. That is the problem though, because you can have children on these boats, it's absolutely fine, but there are certain areas that are not child friendly, like I, st like, I feel like there's like three oh, steps. You turn the bedroom lights on, you turn the kitchen lights on. Yeah, I did that on purpose. So there are like three steps just here. And I'm constantly, I can't really help Tim more in the boat or do anything because, although I don't think Fumps would really go down there on his own, and like he'll feel a bit nervous about it. The steps are there, and I've got to be really careful that he doesn't go down there. So I've like constantly got my eye on Fump, so it's hard to relax really. But this is the bed, and the plan tonight is obviously me and Tim and Thumps are all gonna sleep in this bed, and apparently winds are gonna get up to like 40 miles per hour. So already, what are the wind speeds at the moment, Tim? 
The wind speed at the moment is 17 and the boat is rocking. You can hear it, listen. It's getting up to 43. 43? And 1 a.m. Okay, so we're not even halfway what it's gonna be. So when we're sleeping in this bed tonight, it is gonna be rocking and rolling and rocking and rolling. I'm kind of excited about it though. The fair is down in Great Yarmouth this weekend, but we don't need a fair because we're on this boat in Stokesby. <laughs> There's going to be more twists and turns, I reckon, in this boat than there is at Great Yarmouth Fair. So anyway, I'm going to turn the light out because we're not connected to a power point and apparently Tim said we don't know how long the power is going to last. Unless we start Ooh. the engine, does it work like that? I don't oh, know. I don't know. Don't ask me. I'm no yachty. Whereas if I start the engine... <laughs> Even if I was a yachty, this ain't no yacht. I know, it sounds like we're moaning, but we're going to embrace it anyway. Em embrace boat life. Considering you didn't it. want to do boat life. I'm loving it. I'm like, wow. don't get me wrong. Maybe right? a cruise next then. I have had a cheeky glass of wine. But, oh, that's wine. But I was loving it before I had the wine. I really was. No, honestly, this is so nice. And I was saying to Tim, just look outside. Just look. Just sh for a moment. Wow. Okay. Just chilling on the sea, it's really relaxing, it's peaceful, there's nobody else around. Oh, I like it. Should we keep the lights on the boat, the the out lights? Well, nobody else has on there, so let's save the power. Okay. I am looking forward to going to have some food. Do you know, it's so funny though, because we're sat here and we're looking out on the river and I can see all the traffic going by. There's like- That's the Acle Strait. Is it? Yeah. No, it can't be. It is. It can't be. This is Stokesby. Yeah, it is though. That's the Acle Strait. Considering I've lived in this area my whole life, I really don't have my bearings. Like, I never ever come to hear Stokesby. So I don't really know much about it at all. There's like a little pub and I think it might be a post office. So I don't know much about it. It's like the first time I've probably come here. And I don't really know my bearings. So when Tim says that's the Acal Strait, I'm like, uh, is it? Wow. Should we close the cans? It's just weird seeing moving cars and I'm on the river. It's weird. Good weird though. I like it. But I tell you what, we go in the pub and there is no way I'm getting done up. And one of the good things about boating holidays is, or boating breaks, is you can just rough it. I love it. Okay. Right, let's go. We've just eaten our food, which was actually really, really nice. And we're having a glass of wine. Tim's got cartoons going on on his phone, so it's given us a little bit of peace and quiet. We've just ordered desserts as well. So we're just waiting for the desserts to come through. Then after we've had our desserts, we're gonna head back to the boat. We're gonna get tucked up and, um, you know, get in bed, but we're a bit, well, we're a bit concerned because of the winds. Like I said to you yeah, before, you can hear it howling outside the pub window now. It's going to be until 1, 2 a.m. Oh my God. So yeah. It's yeah. going to start from 11 when it's getting really strong. And where the boat is, it's really exposed, but I couldn't park it anywhere else. Like we could have gone to Acle, but it was, yeah. we were losing light. We're just going to suck it up. I just hope that I've tied the boat down, otherwise we'll be drifting. Yeah. <laughs> This is all down to how well Tim has actually cemented the boat down. Cemented? Well, you know what I mean, like... Moored it. Yeah, moored it down. No, I don't, I don't just wrap them. You did I wrap do it, it down a proper... quite a bit though. No, I didn't. I rounded it twice. Yeah. And then I did the loop, pushed yeah. it back over like he showed me. Yeah. And then did that again, the loop, and then the loop again, and then rounded it. And yeah, that's so what I mean. Like you went like quite intense with the wrapping. So. Did you hear that? What a time. They want to go home. Well, no, luckily... I'm all right. I don't want to go home. I've got my red no, wine. No, luckily. Like, yeah, Gabby... I'm on the board. I don't care about the winds. Luckily, we are um, only 15, 20 minutes from home. <laughs> this pub is rather quiet though. It's really quiet. You know what it needs? It needs a singer. It needs some entertainment, some live it entertainment to liven it up. Yeah, there is a little bit of um oh, there's a dog smell in here. Like it's a really, really lush pub. But 
that there is an array male of dogs and it is such a shame and don't get me wrong like dogs should go in pubs it's fine and i've been in, like pubs with dogs where as soon as you walk through the door it's like wowzers that is like dog central so it's like not great when you want to eat your food it just puts you right off it smells like wet dog so um, that is a bit of a shame because the food is really really nice we've eaten of it every scrap it's really really nice food and we've even ordered dessert so it's really good it's just a shame about the aroma so we're all tucked up in beds i say we all we're just waiting on tim but this is how it's going to be me thumps and just tim on the ends so there's not going to be a lot of room for tim you need to go over to your side a bit more i know you need to sh right in the middle. shuffle over a little bit oh i tell you what it really does remind me of santa claus a movie you know when he's in his little like bed cabin bit but it is cozy i'm not gonna lie it yeah. looked during the day like it was really rough but now we're in here with the lights on and that it's really cozy there's not much room between my head and the ceiling and we had to get bumps in bed with us because there was just nowhere he could go like we could put the travel cut up and we could put it in the lounge area but it'd be too distant and i'd just be a bit like oh i don't know he just feels too far away from us so tim set his uh like uh apple laptop up i'm gonna I'm about watch to come in in my pants don't film me <laughs> I'm gonna watch some sort of Netflix. I'm just filming that sexy t shirt that you've got. Yeah, notice the t shirt. The things we do for love, hey? Bumbies? Do you want a drink? To be fair, Bumps is taking up most of the bed. It looks like it's me, but it's not. As Bumps is sprawled out right in the middle. Look, he's just loving it. Watch your head, Bumpies. That's the thing. It's like reminding a toddler, watch your head because it's so low and they just get up naturally. I just feel like the whole time we've been on this boat, I feel like you need to really toddler-proof the unit. So good morning. It was a bumpy night honestly this boat was swaying man but i kind of liked it it was a bit eerie but i kind of liked it look you can see how choppy it is this morning it's really like choppy and i don't know if you can hear it over Gabby's doll's house, but you can hear the wind whistling through like, I don't know, cracks. If there are any cracks, I can hear wind whistling wherever it's coming from. So me and Bumps, we're in bed this morning. Tim's been out already. Tim's actually editing. So. I know, right? And I've been up since eight o'clock. There and you I go. had to try and find a shop, so which I couldn't. I walked on the whole village for an hour, couldn't find a shop. There was a shop by the pub, but they didn't sell really anything. The lady told me to go to the shops up the road. There was no up the road. There yeah. was though about five miles up the road. Yeah, I had a long walk to the women's shop. So Tim did that, and now he's back on it. He's working. So there's no rest for the wicked. So the plan now is to drive this boat to Yarmouth in a bit when this all calms down. But there's not many boats gone past us yet, so I don't think anyone's keen on driving their boats. No. Yeah, there's no boats gone past. In fact, there are people on their boats standing on the top, just looking, analysing the weather. Is it too windy? Or is it not too windy? I don't know. He was looking around. He hadn't been up here before. 
if you like the video please make sure you do give it a thumbs up make sure you give it a thumbs up well there are boats going doesn't seem to be bothering them lot plus that's going against the wind which takes so much longer to get back have they been parked up here overnight? Because there seems to be a lot in one go, look. No, they're just going past Yeah, but a minute ago there was none, and then there was about four in a row all close together. That's a nice one, isn't it? It's actually quite interesting to see all the different styles of boats, actually, when you're on the water. Whoa, that's really moving. Oh. Ooh. Well, you can see how windy it is, can't you? So we're looking at the reeds. One thing you need to take into consideration are these bridges and like because of the height of our boat well if the water is higher than nine feet um then obviously we can't go onto the bridges so it has to be below nine feet yes we're fine we're fine this bridge is nuts because it actually moves by the way. a little bit of insight as to what filming is like with Tim and how it's really full on whether I'm with him or whether he's on his own it just gives you a little bit of an idea there were some things that I couldn't film because I'd got Casper in my hand and it was just impossible to film but hopefully what you have seen has given you a little bit of an idea I never wanted to go on a boat this was not this was my idea of hell if I'm being perfectly honest with you but now I've done it 
really like it and I just want to go again and I just want to see what all the other boats are like inside and I want to check out some different routes and stuff like that but I just really like how it's quite adventurous it's peaceful and I was always worried that oh my god where are we going to get ready and stuff like that but you don't really need to you can you can rough it on a boat and that is the beauty of it I hope you have enjoyed this vlog. If you have enjoyed it, then please hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and don't forget to hit the notification bell. And I'll catch you next time. Hopefully it won't be as windy next time. Woo! Captain Gabby, over and out.